This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. AutoCAD has many tools available to ensure that you draw as precisely as you can. The amount of accuracy available in AutoCAD is simply amazing. One of the most common and most important features is the O-Snap feature. In a previous section, we looked at the O-snaps and which ones are available to you. I'll briefly review that here, but I want to take it farther and go beyond just using them. I want to show you how to apply some special features with them and how to really use them to reduce the amount of work you have to do. But O-snap is short for object snap, and there are many ways to gain access to them. Typically, when you start a command, you can just type them in, for example, END for endpoint, and then select an object with an endpoint, and you get your glyph showing you it's going to be the endpoint. Now, there was a time when OSNAPs didn't have those glyph indicators, so you weren't sure if you were really snapping to it or not, especially with your running OSNAPs on. Now, you can always use an OSNAP, you can always type it in. Or you can right click and go to your snap overrides. They're always right here. You don't have to remember what the commands are to type in. You can just use them. This is very handy. And it's very easy to get to and it's very intuitive. With your running O snaps on, you will have certain snaps that you will always be able to snap to without doing anything. I have several of them on right now. And I can snap to a midpoint, an endpoint, a node, or an insertion point, etc. Now type OS on the command line. Press Enter. This gets you to your Drafting Settings Manager palette. Here you can turn the different O snaps off or on. You can turn them all off, turn them all on. I prefer to keep them all on with the exception of the nearest and parallel, but it's up to you. O snaps make sure you place the objects in a very specific place on another object. I suggest you keep your running O snaps on. You can toggle that off and on by pressing the F3 button or by clicking on this box in the status bar. If you're not sure if they're on or off, just look at the box and see if it's highlighted, see if it's blue. If it isn't, then they're off. Or just quickly hit the F3 button and the command line will tell you if the O snaps are on. Are currently off. If we go back to our drafting settings by typing OS, you can also on the status bar hover and right click. That will get you to some of these other options. If you right click, you can turn them off or on for your running O snaps. If you right click, you can click the settings button. That will also take you to the drafting settings manager. Now there's an option here. Object Snap Tracking. You can turn that off or on. When it's turned on, the cursor will track the line that you're trying to snap to based on its projected path. Let me demonstrate. If I want to snap from this point to, say, endpoint here, and I put that little green glyph there, if I want to get the intersection of this point, with the intersection of this line, I just use the O snap tracking. I just hover over a line, gives me the glyph, and I move it along that line. You see the little green box plus sign. Here it goes the same, and now it gives me the intersection, and I can snap to it. That's very useful and that it will help you to create your line work while reducing the need for construction lines. Let me remove these and show you once again. If I turn off the dynamic input, it might make it a bit more clear. Let's say I want to draw a line from this point then to a point that intersects with this line and this line. I just did. Pretty simple. 
normally I would have to create a line and then draw to the endpoint, but I don't have to with O Snap Tracking. So it's a good tool to keep on. And you can turn it off and on by pressing the F11 key or by toggling it on or off here on the status bar. Another tracking feature that I want to show you is called polar tracking. This feature allows you to snap to specific angles when drawing. You can turn that off and on by clicking this checkbox. Or you can press the F10 key, or you can toggle it off and on through the status bar. Again, right click, and you can turn on some of your settings. Now, the polar tracking will allow you to temporarily snap to a specific angle. You have to add what increments the angles go at. Right now, it's set at 90. It works similarly to the ortho command, but it doesn't lock, lock you in permanently. If we set this to every 5 degrees, click OK. When I draw my line, you see the dashed extension line? and how I kind of snap along these angles. And in the dynamic input, my angles are progressing up at increments of five degrees. If I zoom in, it helps me to draw at specific angles. That will increase your precision. If I turn on the ortho, you see it overrides the polar tracking. I can go back to my settings turn my polar tracking back on, and I can change my increments of my angles right here to say 45 degrees. Zero, then it snaps in at 45 degrees. I can still draw a line at a different angle. And if I use my O snap to snap to a point, it will still draw it at whatever angle it is. This is just another method that you can use to help you draw more accurately, more quickly. These are the standard angles, 5, 10, 15, etc., that you can use. If you need a unique angle, for example, 20 degrees, and it's not there, create a new one. 20, enter. There you go. Or maybe you have something that's offset or rotated just slightly, and it's a really weird, like 17.3, or maybe it's 3.14159 degrees. You can set that in here. And you can use that, turn it on. Click OK. Draw your line. And there it is. So. F11 will toggle off and on your object snap tracking. It will create an extension of your current line work that will help you find better intersections or to draw in places on a line that isn't. Polar tracking can help you draw at specific angles more quickly with very little effort.